all right you are welcome again today let's talk about proofs of the properties of cartesian products you know initially we talked about basics of set theories and under the basics of set theory we made mention of cartesian products and cartesian product has some several properties and those properties were just like theories that need to be proven okay so we are going to take those properties one after the other and prove them okay let's take a look at this question this question says prove that a intersection b cross c intersection d is equal to a cross c intersection b cross d you get it right so this question says prove that a intersection b cross c intersection d is equal to a cross c intersection b cross d okay now before we start i want to still remind you of what intersection is all about and what cross product or cartesian product is all about okay so we say that when we have something like a intersection b so we say that when we have something like a intersection b it's talking about a set of elements x such that x exists in a and x exists in b this is intersection x in a and x in b all right and then we also say that cartesian product that is a cross b when we have it it's talking about a set of pairs element a set of element that comes in pairs you get it let's say a comma b such that a as an element comes from the set a and b as an element comes from the set b okay you get it right so we say that it is a pairs of element a comma b such that a exists in a and b exists in b okay now let's go you know here we are asked to prove that a set of elements which is a intersection b cross c intersection d this is a set is equal to a cross d intersection b cross d now this first side let's try to show that the element that is contained in this first side is equal to the element in the other side okay now let's assume that the element that can be found in this first side that is the left hand side is x comma y why because we have cross product or we have cartesian product so and then you discover that cartesian product is a set of elements that comes in pairs so let's assume that the element is x comma y you get it so we say that let x comma y be any element of the set a intersection b cross c intersection d so if x comma y is an element in a intersection b cross c intersection d that means we can say that x comma y exists in a intersection b cross c intersection d so here if we say that x comma y exists in a intersection b cross c intersection d it implies that it tells us that you know when we are talking about cartesian product we say that the first element come from the first set and the second element come from the second set okay so here it implies that x which is the first element it comes from the first set which is a intersection b 
and the, the second element y comes from the second set which is c intersection d so we simply say that x exists in a intersection b and y exists in c intersection d is that true so if this is true it also implies that x exists in a and x exists in b now take a look at this you know in the above we will say that x exists in a intersection b what does it mean a intersection b it means an element that exists in a and it also exists in b that is the reason why we say that x exists in a and the x exists in b that is intersection and then let's go to the other side i will also say that and the y exists in c intersection d it implies that y exists in c and the y exists in d that is intersection also so when you take a look at this very well from this place we have expanded it to the best of our knowledge okay so from this point i want you to look at the destination i want you to look at the destination where you are going you know the right hand side say a cross c intersection b cross d so here we are going to bring a and c together okay and then bring b and d together now here now if you bring a and c together we are going to say that x exists in a and y exists in c that is a and c is that true yes and then again we say and x exists in b and y exists in d you get it x exists in a and y exists in c and the x exists in b and the y exists in d so here now if we say that an element first element exists in a in the first set and the second element exists in second set what do we call it we call it cartesian so that is to say that this x exists in a and y exists in c we can simply take it and say that x comma y exists in a cross c so when we have a cross c that means the first element comes from the first set and the second element comes from the second set so we simply say that x comma y exists in a cross c you get it right and then again we say it x comma y exists in b cross d what does it mean you know here we say it x exists in b and the y exists in d so if x exists in b and y exists in d so we can bring it together and say that x comma y exists in b cross d you get it so here now we say that x comma y exists in a cross c and x comma y exists in b cross d what does it tell us see we are having x comma y exists in a cross c and it also exists in b cross d so it exists in both sets we can simply say that x comma y exists in a cross c intersection b cross d you get it okay so if we have gotten to this side you see that from the left hand side we landed at the right hand side we started with a intersection b cross c intersection d and then we said that it is contained in a cross c intersection b cross d so we can simply say that so a intersection b cross c intersection d is contained in a cross c intersection b cross d you get it right so we have proved the first part of it okay all our proving they all have two parts so here we have proven the first part we have succeeded in showing that the first part or the left hand side 
is contained in the right hand side so let's also try and show if the right hand side is contained in the left hand side okay so for us to do that we will simply say conversely we start all over again but here we start from the right hand side to the left okay so we say let x comma y be any element of a cross c intersection b cross d so if x comma y is an element in the set a cross c intersection b cross d that means that this element exists in a cross c intersection b cross d so if x comma y exists in a cross c intersection b cross d it implies that you know here we are having intersection that is to say that x comma y exists in a cross c and x comma y also exists in b cross d that is intersection okay so x comma y exists in a cross c and x comma y exists in b cross d what does it mean it implies that x exists in a and y exists in c or you can simply say that x comes from a and the y comes from c that is the first element comes from the first set and the second element comes from the second set okay now let's go to the other side we have x comma y exists in b cross d so what does it mean we can simply say that x comes from b and y comes from d that is the first element comes from the first set and the second element comes from the second set okay so here we have expanded and we see that x exists in a and y exists in c and x exists in b and y exists in d now let's go to the beginning and see where we are going to we want to arrive at a intersection b cross c intersection d so we are going to bring a and b together c and d together okay so here we have a b c d so we're going to bring a and b together so if you bring a and b together we're going to say that x exists in a and the x exists in b okay c and d we say that and the y exists in c and the y exists in d so since x exists in a and b what does it mean it implies that x exists in a intersection b so it exists in a and b we say or we call it intersection okay so we say x exists in a intersection b in the other side we have that y exists in c and y exists in d so it also means intersection so we can simply say that y exists in c intersection d okay yes okay here if we say that x exists in a intersection b and the y exists in c intersection d so what does it mean x come from the first set y come from the second set so we can bring cartesian okay so we can simply say that x comma y exists in a intersection b which is the first cross c intersection d that is x comes from a intersection b and the y comes from c intersection d so here we have shown and we have seen that x comma y exists in a intersection b cross c intersection d so here we can simply say that a cross c which we started the right hand side a cross c intersection b cross d is contained in a intersection d cross c intersection d so look at these two conclusion we have two conclusion right the first conclusion we say that a intersection b cross c intersection d is contained in a cross c intersection b cross d and then the second conclusion we say that a cross c 
intersection B cross D is contained in A intersection B cross C intersection D. So, in the law of set, we say that if A is containing B and B is containing A, automatically A is equal to B. So, therefore, we conclude and say that A intersection B cross C intersection D is equal to A cross C intersection B cross D. You see, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, we simply say that A and B are equal. All right? Yes, we have successfully proven that A intersection B cross C intersection D is equal to A cross C intersection B cross D. All right? Yes. Let's take another example. Stay blessed.